Hello all viewers and aspirants. Welcome back. My name is Devashish and this is an Ed Sharpner production. Today we are back with another general aptitude session which will be helpful in GIT exam, CAT exam and other various examinations. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do because it encourages us and we will put more and more videos if you keep encouraging us. Today we'll be looking at boats and streams problems and some concepts. We'll be discussing more problems so that you can clear more concepts because the boats and streams has a very basic underlying only single concept which we'll discuss in the next slide. So, lo, gyan pilo. So basically, uh, in streams and the boats problems, we do have a particular stream. Let us say this is a stream and we are given a velocity of the stream. Let's call it V. And now a man or a woman is rowing in a boat. It could be three ways, either with the stream with speed u. In that case, it is known as traveling downstream where you are traveling with the water so that your net speed increases. It becomes u plus v. And in another case, it is called as against the stream where you're traveling against the stream and it is called as traveling upstream. So in this case, the velocity, the net velocity decreases u minus v. So this is downstream velocity and this is upstream velocity. And with these two given variables, different problems are designed. We will look at the problems soon, but everybody who is preparing for different examinations knows these two velocity types and they know some basic formulas. And we'll be doing some practice regarding the problems of boats and streams. So basically, let's say we know the downstream velocity, let's say u plus v is a and u minus v or the upstream velocity that is b. If we know these two values a and b, we can find out u and v by the simultaneous equations and the formula is ready. If you add these two together, you get 2u equals a plus b and therefore u equals a plus b divided by 2. So this is the one term that we found out. Similarly, if you subtract the second equation from the first, you will get v equals a minus b divided by 2. So u is nothing but the speed of the boat and v is the velocity of the stream. Now if this is clear, we can look at the third type where a person in a boat can travel in an oblique direction to the river flow. Let's say if this is a river and let's say this is the velocity of the stream v and let's say if a person is traveling in an oblique direction with some angle can we design problems around that yes there are problems designed around this this concept is usually discussed in physics because it involves vector addition since v and u are the vectors and we will discuss one problem related to this concept as well so let us look at the problems related to the boat and the stream. So the first problem, the speed of the boat in the still water is 18 kilometers per hour and the rate of the current is 5 kilometers per hour. Find out the distance traveled downstream in 12 minutes. Now the word, the keyword here is the downstream. We know downstream means traveling with the stream. So stream is V and the velocity of the boat is U. So the velocities get added and therefore we will add the velocities 18 kilometers per hour plus the 5 kilometers per hour which gives 23 kilometers per hour. This is a very simple problem. Now the net speed is 23 kilometers per hour. So in one hour the boat travels 23 kilometers. So how much would it travel in 12 minutes? 12 minutes is nothing but 12 by 60 or 1 by 5 hours. So in 1 by 5 hours, the boat would travel 4.6 kilometers. So this is the answer. So this was a very simple problem that we discussed wherein we needed to calculate the downstream velocity first and then we needed to calculate the distance traveled in a given time. It could have been upstream as well. So we would have subtracted 
v from u which would have given us 13 kilometers per hour if the problem was designed like that let's discuss the next problem where we have a boat takes six hours to travel downstream from point a to b let's say this is point a and this is point b now a boat travels from point a to b and it comes back and it takes six hours for the whole journey now it goes from a to b and it comes back from b to a and it takes six hours for the boat to travel both the distances to and fro now the speed of the stream is three kilometers per hour so we'll write down v is equal to three kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat in still water is six kilometers per hour so u is six kilometers per hour and we need to find out the distance between a and b now how can we do this let's call the distance between a and b as d now the time taken to travel from a to b is d divided by some speed which is downstream as we know while it is downstream we add the two velocities u plus v and then the time taken by the boat in coming back from b to a is d divided by u minus v because u minus v relates to upstream while going from a to b is downstream coming back from b to a should be upstream and this gives you the total time as 6 hours. Now, it is very very important that you remember the units because d upon speed, distance upon speed will always give you the time. So, this is the very basic equation that you can form always. Now, d is unknown so we keep it as it is. And u plus v is 6 plus 3 which is 9 plus d divided by u minus v which is in this case 3 which gives you 6 and this can be simplified as if we multiply the second fraction by 3 in numerator and denominator you get d upon 9 plus 3d upon 9 equals 6 therefore 4d is equal to 54 and therefore d is equal to 13.5 so this is the final answer which is the distance between a and b in kilometers 13.5 i hope you have understood let's look at the next problem in this problem we have a man rose to a place 48 kilometers distant and back in 14 hours so a man travels to a place which is 48 kilometers away from his position let's call it a which is initial position and b as the final position so it travels from a to b and comes back again so this is the similar problem that we had in the last problem and the distance from a to b is 48 kilometers now the next instruction is it takes him the same time to row 4 kilometers downstream and 3 kilometers upstream and we need to calculate the speed of the stream now let us take up variables first let's call u as the speed of boat and v as the speed of the stream now for downstream we have the net speed as u plus v and for upstream we have the net speed as u minus v now with the given second instruction 4 kilometers distance upon velocity which is downstream so u plus v is equal to let's say t and it is also equals 3 divided by u minus v u minus v relates to the upstream velocity and u plus v relates to the downstream velocity since the formula that we have is 48 divided by the downstream velocity plus 48 divided by the upstream velocity equal to total time which is 14 hours now our job is to find out u plus v and u minus v first let's express u plus v and u minus v in terms of t so what do we have here we can divide by t to get 4 by t equals u plus v and 3 by t equals u minus v now we can find out t by replacing u plus v and u minus v so we will put 48 divided by we had u plus v here so we will put 4 divided by t plus 48 divided by 
3 divided by t which was u minus v gives 14 hours. This is in fact a simple equation in one variable. Now this is 12 t plus 16 t giving 14. So that is 28 t giving 14. Therefore t is nothing but 0 0.5 hours. So we have t now. Now we can find out u plus v and u minus v. So 4 divided by t is equal to u plus v which should be 8 and 3 divided by t which is u minus v should be 6. If we need the speed of the stream we will subtract the second equation from the first and we will get 2v giving 2. Therefore v equals 1 kilometer per hour. So the speed of the stream is 1 kilometers per hour. How can you find out the speed of the boat? You just have to add the two equations. You will get 2u giving 14 and u will be equal to 7 kilometers per hour. So this is how different problems can be designed around the same concept. Now we will look at the one last problem which is with the oblique velocity. The problem is the width of the river is 300 meters and a man needs to cross the width and reach exactly opposite to the point he started at. The river flow has speed of 15 km per hour. The question is at what angle to the bank of river should a man row the boat and at what speed so that he reaches the opposite bank in 3 minutes. Now let us first draw the diagram. Let us draw the rivers first. So let this be the river and a man starts from this position and reaches the opposite point. Now this is 300 meters. So we will write down 300 here. Now the man faces the flow of the river which is in this direction and that is 15 kilometers per hour. Now the thing is if man starts in this direction itself due to the speed of the river the man would travel in this fashion and would not reach exactly opposite to the point he started at. To reach exactly opposite to the point he started at the man needs to travel in this particular direction let's say at some angle we will draw a vector in this direction and let us say this is some angle theta and now let's say this is speed u and we know the speed is v now because of this man reaches exactly opposite where he started at now the problem is very simple we need to find out u and theta we have two unknowns here u and theta and we need to find out two equations so that we can find out these two unknowns now the man reaches exactly opposite across the river. That means because of the oblique velocity that the man has achieved, it cancels out the horizontal 15 km per hour velocity of the river. That means the horizontal component of the velocity of the man which is u cos theta or which is in this direction cancels out 15 km per hour. So u cos theta should be equal to 15 kilometers per hour because u cos theta is in this direction and v is in this direction. If both are equal, both will get cancelled and man would not travel horizontally and would reach exactly opposite across the river. So this is the first equation that we have. The second equation can be designed by the second instruction in the problem. The man needs to reach the opposite bank which is 300 meters away in 3 minutes. That means the distance divided by the time or 3 minutes which is 3 divided by 60 hours should give you the vertical velocity of the man. The vertical velocity of the man would be u sin theta. So this would give us another equation and d is 300 meters which is 0 0.3 kilometers divided by 3 by 60 gives u sin theta. We can write down these two equations again. So we have u cos theta giving 15 kilometers per hour and 0 0.3 divided by 1 upon 20 giving u sin theta which is nothing but 6 kilometers per hour. Now simply we have u sin theta and u cos theta. By this we can find out tan theta is equal to 6 divided by 15 which is nothing but 2 divided by 5 and by taking the inverse we find that theta is equal to 21.4 degrees. So this is how we can find out theta 
and once you know theta you can find out u by designing u cos theta equal to 15 so basically u giving 15 divided by cos 21.4 degrees and this should give you u is equal to 16.55 kilometers per hour so this is how we can find out u and theta wherein the man was traveling in an oblique direction to the flow of the river i hope you have understood so in this particular video we looked at some concepts and some problems and we discussed problems wherein the velocity of the boat was oblique to the direction of the river i hope you have understood this particular problem set please let me know in the comment section on which other topics you would like to watch some videos and would like to do some practice with me we'll be happy to post such videos also if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe so that we know that you're liking the videos please give me the thumbs up and share this video as much as possible with all the other aspirants that you know we wish to help you in every possible way so please let us know in which fashion we can also help you in which subjects we can help you we'll surely be happy to bring you more content related to those subjects we will soon see you with another topic Till then, Yan Peter Ayer.